Sunday Sundance fans for joining us on Mullins Radio. Useful workout then against AFC Wolfreeners with a 1 1 draw? Yeah, um, you know, the lads haven't uh, played a competitive game for five or six weeks, so it's, uh, it's always nice to get a, get a game in and it, against good opposition as well. So, yeah, it was a, it was a good workout. Yeah. Was it a bit frustrating to have got a draw after th- taking the lead or is it one of those where results don't matter and it's w- what they do with the ball and the performance that does count? Um, yeah, it's just about um, getting back to playing football really. You know, We've had a good six or seven good chances to uh, put the game to bed but you know, um, just about getting back out there and getting back together um, with each other and um, hopefully can kick on and get ready for um, Tuesday's game. I know you spoke to the club's media team during lockdown about the uh, frustrations of lockdown too. How's it been for yourself and the fact that you've now been able to have got back in that dugout? Yeah, it slows better when you're getting in the dugout. Um, obviously, uh, all week uh, we know we've, we've been having the game and stuff, so it's just better mentally for everybody, you know, who's uh, involved with football that they know that they've got a game at the weekend instead of just sitting there twiddling your thumbs. Um, and obviously we can follow it up with a game on Tuesday as well, which is going to be great. Yeah, just looking at during that lockdown, uh, did the lads have such much of a uh, programme to follow? I saw Kingsley uh, Adu Jamfi a couple of times doing runs around Hanley Park. Were they giving stuff or was it just, you know, do what you guys want to do, guys? No, they've been, been given some advice of what to do. Um, some will do it, some won't, obviously. Um, but it look, they looked all right out there today, fitness-wise. You know, it wasn't too bad at all uh, off them. Um, it's going to take another couple of uh, weeks uh, to get back into it but you know we don't know what's happening uh, in, on that score yet so it's just going to be stop start I would imagine for the next um, couple of weeks unless we can get a couple of rounds in the trophy so but you know uh, they've been given the, their own stuff to do and uh, like I say most of them have done it so that's pleasing. Just touching on that Stanford game coming up on Tuesday how big is it for the club not only to be able to continue playing fixtures at the moment but in terms of the history, they haven't been to the first round proper since 2004. I know they had the FA Cup runs to Hartley Pool and the FA Vars for yourself, but where could this potentially rank in the history of Kids Grove Athletic? Yeah, it'd be brilliant. Like I say, if we can get um, through one more round, it'd be the furthest we've ever gone in the competition. And the furthest I've got as a manager and probably furthest most of the players have got. Um, so yeah, it'd be really good. Um, obviously, it's a, a massive game, a uh, real tough opposition. You know, They were up there last year and Looked like they were going to battle it out with Leek to see who was actually clinched the title. And they've started off quite well again this year. I don't think they've been beaten in 90 minutes all season. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a tough game for the lads, um, especially, like I say, with having a break. I wish we could have played them the week after uh, Stratford, but, you know, uh, we'll give it our all and uh, hopefully we can progress. How much homework have you been able to do on uh, Stanford, obviously, with the lockdown since the draw was made? They've- not played or if they did it was that Tuesday before lockdown when we were due to play uh, works up here so how much have you been able to watch them or is it just literally going off YouTube and finding clips or you know speaking to people who've played against them earlier this season? Yeah it's just that really you know um, unfortunately we haven't had, hadn't watched before obviously playing them um, on Tuesday uh, but yeah like you say uh, YouTube speaking to uh, numerous people um, that kind of thing but like I say we've got to concentrate on ourselves um, take into the good things that we did at Stratford uh, and a couple of games before and um, just hopefully come away with a positive result. Yeah. Finally the only thing that's going to be missing on Tuesday sadly is the fans can't have them in at the moment but a word for them and know they'll be listening in they'll be hoping to t- try to stream the game potentially the club or Mullins Radio are going to be doing live commentary on the match so they'll be following them be following on even if they have to sit at home. Yeah that's it you know it's very very disappointing that they can't um, come in to watch the game, especially with all the work that um, Jan and Coops and everybody have done down here to get the place COVID secure. Um, so yeah, obviously I can't understand it and uh, a lot lot more people can't. Um, they're going to be a massive miss because I think I said um, one of the interviews that we did, you know, they've, uh, they've travelled with us to Cambridge, Daventry, Stratford um, and obviously helped us to get through the rounds because it does make a massive difference um, even at our level you just don't know you, like for the lads it's, uh, it's tremendous when they're banging that drum and singing the song so uh, yeah it'll be a big miss um, likewise I would imagine for Stanford seeing as they get mm. three or four hundred every game as well so 
but yeah, um, it's unfortunate they can't get there, but hopefully we can win a couple of rounds and by the time things sort themselves out, um, we can get back in. Okay, thank you for your time, Scott, and we'll see you on Tuesday. No worries, mate. Cheers. Thank you.